Hello there, this is Marcia from Markets of Sunshine. I hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to continue on the topic of using magazine and book pages in our <clears throat> junk journaling crafts and projects. So what's going to... On the menu today is all about making a match book journal to go in a pocket in our junk journal. And I'm going to be embellishing a page or two in my evergreen fabric cover junk journal. We're going to make a scroll page, little embellishment, <coughs> excuse me, along with our matchbook. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, the supplies that you will need today are going to be back over to your little stash. I hope you um, went and tore out pages in your magazines and your books and any printouts and things like that that you needed <clears throat> that you already found and that we talked about from last video. So let me get my little chair here and we shall get started. Okay, so I am... Combining some of my cardstock. This is a black and white leaf pattern, and I thought this would go perfect in my evergreen. And then I can paint all of these color, not paint, I could use watercolor paint or markers, which I think I'm going to use my markers uh, for this instead of the watercolor. I'm not going to pull that out because it's a big, giant container. I think I could take out the little compartment, but anyway. I'm not going to mess with all that right now today, so this is one of the pages that I will be cutting down. So I've been assembling what I need and I wanted to show you. So I wanted to get a little bit of a head so start here so that I could show you what, what I've got going on. Alright, so this is going to be the cover of the matchbook. So what I did is the fabric sample swatches that I showed you yesterday, I cut them out and I'm going to be making like my own little kind of along the lines of a log cabin quilt pattern. So if you're familiar with log cabin quilt and what it looks like then you'll understand where I got the idea from. So it's not a true log cabin design but I know there are variations so this is my variation of that pattern. And I thought on my sampler quilt that I had that block, but I didn't. It was just a different different block. So anyhow. Okay, so this, I haven't attached this on here yet. So let me take this off. And then when you open it up, then all of the pages that I'm going to be assembling with you today will go in here. And then it will close. And then this little piece, just like a matchbook, does... But then when you open it, you will have your journaling pages inside. Okay, so then this is going to be part of what I'm going to use to decorate the front. And then I'll find some kind of a word sentiment. But isn't that pretty? I thought that was so pretty. And then as the closure on our little matchbook journal, we are going to just use some ribbon. Some just soft ribbon of any kind. And then we're going to just take it like this and attach all the pages on the inside and then we'll tie this together at the end. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. There's two different methods that I use to close the little cover. So we're going to use, I'm going to show you both methods and then you can decide which one you want to use for yours. And then I'm going to decide which one I'm going to use for mine. So if I want to close it like this and then wrap something around here to attach it and then it would just you know hold the chunky pages closed or which I think because of when when we get to the end we'll see but anyhow so then you'll just need a piece of ribbon so this I cut off probably about 24 inches of ribbon so just go ahead and cut off and then whatever we don't need then you know can save it for another project so that is going to be the cover 
And then here is one page that will be inside. So I've just assembled what I wanted to go on these to kind of speed it up so that when we're working on this together today, it's going to be a whole lot easier. And so this came out of another um, book that I had, and so that I thought was really fun. And this is a, a from a Colorado, the prospecting years of the gold rush and things of that era. And so then this was just a grub, <laughs> a grub menu is really, really interesting. And I love history. So I thought that would be really cute in my little mini matchbook journal. Then on the inside, what I've done is this is from, um, a, it's a Polaroid, mimics the old Polaroid um, pictures. And you remember how you, this would, this would have been what black I think it was and then your or white what was this white and then I don't remember now black down here white around here and then your picture in the middle something along those lines so I got this off of another channel and I thought this was so cute and adorable and then this was from the Mary Jane magazine page and then this was from another page and actually what I how this was taken from was an advertisement section in the back of the magazine and then there was a border around it so like your business card information would have been here in the center so I just used the border cut off this little piece here to fit onto the white space that was here and then this was left over from the uh, my daughter's artwork and that fabric page so that's what this is so didn't that isn't that really cool so you just start layering pieces together and the next thing you know you've got a beautiful tag and now on the back this was a piece of her artwork as well so I just was saving a you know, cute little part of it little house scene and so I can journal here so this will go in the pocket so this is going to be the pocket in our matchbook journal and I will run this through the sewing machine just here on this side and then here on this side and then this will go inside of the matchbook here and then this will be like this. So that's one page. And then the next page is going to be, again, I'm using my magazine pages. So this was a beautiful floral arrangement. It looks like azaleas in a white picture. And then some scrapbook paper that I had of a field of cotton. And then for the inside, it was a dark purple. So course going into my evergreen journal that wouldn't work so what I'm going to do of course this is going to be a pocket again so I'm going to have two pocket pages and then this is just how to make a chicken coop and so since it was a very pale um, drawing I said that's perfect and then I can actually write on this or I can add some more pretty um, papers on here too so this is going to be the second one so then this one opens up. And then this one will fit right here inside of this. But it won't exactly go back to back because I don't want to have two pocket pages back to back. And then this is just another magazine piece here. And then this was a piece of cardstock here that had the, the printing on it, wording on it. Okay, so then that's two. So you can already see from the side, just keep keep an eye on how thick you want it to be. So you can see that it's it's fine, just like that, just nice. So then this was, normally what I would do, and what um, you could do at this point, if you wanted to just stop right here, and then just take uh, some blank paper, maybe some tea dyed paper, or coffee dyed paper, or um, whatever type you wanted. And then you could add that in the middle here as well. So what I thought about doing is um, taking a piece of my handmade paper. So let me grab that. And because this is cardstock and those are two pieces are, this is a thinner paper, but this other cream one is cardstock, so that's thick. So I don't want to be layering a lot of cardstock. Yeah, this is cardstock here, and then the magazine page on top of that. So I thought maybe if I use um, 
one of my handmade papers because this is very pliable and then this is in a, a natural beige uh, color so let's see but the only let's see let's see let me take these two out and then I use my take the ribbon and put it to the side okay now line this up here okay yes perfect so this is 11 inches more or less All right, so let me cut that down. So this could be, let me see, is that going to bend well? Because this may wind up just being a decorative piece. But let's, let's give it a whirl and see what it turns out like. <sighs> Today is one of those days when I'm not feeling 100%. Don't know why, but tummy pain for some reason, and I never rarely get stomach pain anymore. So that's a new one on me. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? I've had ulcers in the past. So I'm like, oh, please, I hope it's not another ulcer. All right, so let's fold this, and you see how easily that folds. What I want to do is bring it around this way. We want it on the inside. And what I'm trying to do is cut the inside pieces smaller so then when they're closed, you don't see them here. So actually, this handmade paper is actually adding a little bit more bulk to it than I realized, but that's okay. So I may just stop here and then let's just decorate those pages together and I'll show you how to do that. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. But again, you won't see that part of it because this is going to be like this. And this would not need to be on here because I'm going, I only wanted to have two pocket pages. So now I would need to decide, do I want to have this one be my pocket page, which I think that is so, I love, I love my handmade paper. So I may do that. This one I already made into the pocket page. And this one doesn't have to be a pocket page, so I may do it like that. And so I'll just cut this piece off here, and then add this one in here. And then that would be my little sandwich. And then this would be coming in here, and then that would be the final matchbook. Okay, so you see the thickness that we have going on here. And then our piece of ribbon will come in through here. And then I'm thinking what I will do is go ahead. I'm not sure if I will attach it to the cover, but I am going to run these through the sewing machine here. All right, so first thing I want to do is let's line up. Okay. I just want to trim off this magazine part here, so I'm just looking at it from the back. Okay, and remember the, the scissors that have the hard little thing here to close it, so I'm not going to go back closing it, but I wanted to show you again, in case this is your first time seeing my videos, welcome to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for being here. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel, give it a like, a thumbs up, share it, and tell all your friends, and share it in the groups, any groups that you're in. And thank you so much to all of my new subscribers, and to the nice lady who has been sharing it in her scrapbooking group, and I've been gaining more subscribers, and I didn't know where all of a sudden <laughs> I was getting subscribers from because the channel was supposed to do a shout out, but they're doing another promotion right now, so I'm not getting my the shout out from her channel yet, so I thought, huh, where's all these people coming from? So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're helping me out, and I just am so, so thankful. All right, so now here we will have, we will have this page here, which I'm going to Add some pretty papers there in a moment. I shall show you. So then we have the green. 
and then this is going to be the embellishing page there, and I'm going to pass that whole thing through my sewing machine. I'm not going to glue it. And then my handmade paper will be here. So this will be a pocket. I will take this pocket off, so I'll cut that right there. And then this will be a pocket. So then I will take some really cute tags, and we'll put some tags in here. So let me go ahead and take this second piece and cut that off and run it through the sewing machine. So while I'm on the sewing machine, what I usually invite you to do is pause the video, go grab your magazines, go grab some card stocks, and save all these little scraps because we can always do use those as borders and what have you. Here's my little piece there. So I'm keeping everything together that I wanted that's going to you know, go together. So I'm keeping him together. And then from yesterday's video, huh, don't ask me where it is yet, but that whole layout that I showed you in the journal of where I was taking those images, I think there was like four or so, and then I had the word that talked about my friends or something, something, you know. <laughs> and then I was going to add my daughter's um, handwriting that was from a card she had given me and that was going to be on the other page which okay the two pocket pages which I'll show you that in a minute I had those which they were in the journal but don't ask me what happened to those other papers I have looked all over my desk in the stacks of papers in the magazines on the floor I said huh I said what in the world happened to those blocks I mean I'm just completely baffled they just disappeared. So I said, okay, let's go to plan B. And so that was to make this new collage <laughs> out of fabrics instead of the magazine pages. But as soon as I find the magazine pages, I will make that collage. And then I'll fi do a final flip through of the Evergreen Journal. And we'll see, we'll, ha we'll show you that together. But oh my goodness, what a, I mean, if, if you don't ever want to find anything, just give it to me. Because there is a black hole in my home. I have said that ever since. I moved into this house, but anyway. All right, so then this one here. Okay, the, the flower, I'm thinking, okay, the flower was going to go here on the inside. Isn't that pretty? And I think with the flowers in her hair, I thought that was so appropriate. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love the way everything comes together. It's just so exciting. Just makes you feel so warm and cozy and cuddly and just happy, you know. It's just all happiness. So this, because it's such a texture, I was going to go with the napkin again. What do you think? So I thought I would get the napkin here and add this right on. And the texture from the napkin and the texture from the handmade paper, it would just pick that up beautifully. And uh, so I thought I'll use the house here. And then when I open it up to the inside, I can use the... Uh, evergreen here again, cypress, whatever that is. <clears throat> so wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, really cool. I love it. And then down here, back here, again, if I want to do the to do the whole thing, so this whole little theme would be in with that one theme, and then I'm going to put some word sentiments on there. So that's that's going to be the idea for this one. So this is what I like to do. I like to lay out and pick out everything that I'm going to do at, you know, for everything. And then it's all cohesively and then I can just follow step by step by step. And then a fun, another little fun addition and a little tip I wanted to share with you today, which this is our, your Friday uh, freebie. So a vintage hanky printable. So this is going to be available to all my VIP coupon club members. And when you sign up the first day, you will receive a 25% off coupon code to use in my two Etsy shops, Markets of Sunshine and Pioneer Fundraiser. So the Markets of Sunshine are all my handmade journals, cash envelope system, um, gift care packages filled with all types of goodies for the outdoor activities. I have a sun hat, a face mask, a gratitude journal, you could use the gar as a garden journal, um, bookmarks, 
tea samples, just everything as a, as a writing box, so whatever you want to use it for. And then in the Pioneer Fundraiser, my vintage shop are vintage gifts and collectibles and supplies. So I have vintage fabrics and laces and trims and seam binding and bias tape and buttons, vintage buttons, um, just tools and books, DIYs, all, of all different um, types of crafting and uh, I've just uploaded a, a batch of seven different things yesterday and then all kinds of gift ideas and very, very unusual, unique things that I find and I've either been given to me by different people or I've inherited whatever and I'm no longer using so I sell them in, in my vintage shop and um, so that's, this is your gift and to you today as a a VIP member, you will get this download of the, the vintage hanky. And so what I did is um, printed out double, which it came actually like this on the page, and I just I just trimmed it off so it was on an eight and a half by eleven sheet. And then you can take it and you can resize it, you know, any way that you would like. And so I'm going to reduce this down. So what I'm going to do today with this particular piece is I'm going to come in with my markers and try to get these blue flowers green. <laughs> so we'll see what happens to the blue and the green together and if it turns out so I, I might do it just on a little small flower first and then see what color do I wind up with. It just I, I just want to tone down this. Otherwise if that does not work I'll come back in with the opal polish that I showed you yesterday and then I'll take the opal polish and we'll just go over um, because you can use the opal polish with your, um, a little q-tip would make, you get the fuzzies. Uh, they said with your finger, but I put gloves on, so I don't know how that's going to go. So I may try to see if I can get you, the sponge applicator is just too big and I don't have a makeup sponge. I need to pick up some of those, but, um, anywho, so this is going to go in, um, here somehow, somewhere, some way. I loved this green, so I don't know if I'll put it in our little matchbook today or if it will go in the the bigger evergreen journal. Okay, so let me pass this through, but just while you're waiting, the VIP club, sign up for that, and it will be in the description box below. And then also subscribe to my channel, and if you want to join our Facebook group, which is called Junk Journal Junction, and that link will also be in the description box below, so you can write that down. But if you just click the link, but you have to subscribe to my channel, join the VIP club, and then you can gain access into the Facebook group, which I do check it. And it's for everything to do with sewing, journaling, craft, you know, some embellishments. And um, so we, we'd love to have you, and we do swaps. So it's, it's just a fun group, and I'm an I'm a assistant uh, moderator to my friend, so I'm having a really, really, really fun time with that. So give me a second to run this through the sewing machine, and I shall be right back. Which is right here in the room, but just not on camera. I'm just going to go around the edges with a straight stitch on my Project Runway Brother sewing machine. One thing I notice is when you're sewing and it's the magazine paper that's the shiny, it's slippery and it doesn't like to grab as easily. So you may have to gently just keep a little bit of pressure. Otherwise, and if you're hearing that squeaking noise, that's just because of the foot rubbing on that shiny paper. So I just 
gently gives a little help. I just love the look that the hand stitching, machine stitching gives your. So isn't that nice? Look at that. And then on the green. But that's just adds that extra little touch to your project. So it will go in here. And there you have it. All right, so let's work on this page, and we will put this one on here. I'm going to do the same thing and sew it on there, and then I will attach that one there, and then just sew up the little corners on this. Okay, move this one out of the way. I'm just going to take the glue stick, which I use the Scotch Craft glue, and I'm just going to run it across the back of this. Just to give it a little bit of hold, so that when I do get ready to put it through the sewing machine, I don't have to fiddle with it while I'm working on the other side. Let's see, and that holds that into place. And now I'm just going to take this piece and I'm going to trim off because I folded it. And now on all the folds, I'm going to just trim it. Colorado Pioneers. Society of the Colorado Pioneers. Over the hang. Hang? I don't know. H-A-N-G-E. How do you say that? <laughs> oh, I've never seen that word. Hang? Actually threw something away, yay! Okay, so now let's just flip it over and I can line it up. Mm -hmm. And since I'm not going to sew in the middle, I can just put a little bit of glue will hold it in place so that when I'm sewing the other side to this piece, so see now the two pieces are being held into place and then I can just zip it all around and it'll be looking beautiful too. And then this one is another one of the little Polaroid snapshots that I got from the other shop. And then this was a quilt block that came out of the Mary Jane magazine. So this I am going to just glue onto there. And because it's the magazine paper, it's thin, and I don't need to use the thick Aileen's Tacky Glue.
because this had a little bit of the border left, but I really liked that look. So I decided that that was fine, and I am going to leave it like that. How cute! Isn't that precious? And what you could do is, if you have one of your own quilt, just take a picture of it, reduce the picture down, and then you can do the same thing. This actually, this um, Polaroid paper, and then I have the film strip, came from Nazi of Amity Bloom. I just remembered her name. <laughs> I was like, what is her name? Nazi, yes. And so this is the film strip, so then I'll take some of the pictures, and I can do the same thing on here. And this is going to go into the journal on a page, but I'm going to get rid of some of this beigey. She didn't have one in the green that I wanted, and um, so I'm just going to add the beigey to it with, I mean, cover up some of the beige with that opal green. Opalescent thing. Let me see if I had one. Okay, yeah, here's the sheet. So I want to get the little openings and then on both sides, so I'll have to when I printed it out for some reason, like the blue was okay, but this one, it, it wants to cut it off. So check out her Etsy shop, Am Amity Bloom. We'll do that. Okay, so this is going to be, not in this one, in here. That's going to go in here. Okay, and then there's, again, I did it on the back, so that was again for my daughter's artwork, so I just have that there. And that's going to be so precious in there. And I may, I'm thinking that I may take, now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking I might go ahead and try to see if I can put the vintage hanky on the top of this here. And then on here, I like that better than the, the napkin. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, but this goes in here, so we don't want to lose our pieces. Okay, now let me just sew up on here, and then our little tag here will be ready to go into his little home. And then we have the second page done, and then we'll just work on the handmade page, and then we'll be able to put the, whoops, sorry, put it in the um, journal. Bobbin looks like it's getting ready to run out. No! Oh, goodness. Alright, well I don't want to make you wait while I refill the bobbin. But you, you get the idea of what I'm going to be doing on that page. So let's work on this page here. Okay. 